Hello viewers, good day and welcome to a fresh episode of Gender Spot, a program that discusses relationships, its issues, challenges, solutions, and of course, the ideologies of people keeping relationship in and outside marriage. Today's episode will be dwelling on the topic we started in the last episode, which is why people cheat in relationship. I am Hassan Abdul Salam, and already I have my wonderful guests, the Gender Squad. I'll call them. They're already <laughs> seated, waiting for us to begin. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you're all welcome to Gender Spot. Thank, Thank you. you. And we started discussing reasons why people cheat in relationships. Indeed, you know, every affair, every affair is different. And so are reasons why people cheat in relationships. So I will start from is okay. Okay. Um, one of the reasons why I feel people cheat is you feel or why yeah. you cheat. Well, because, like you said, affairs are different. Yes. So different affairs with the challenges they are facing. One reason why people cheat is inferiority complex. I feel the reason why I say so is from the angle of a lady. If my partner makes me feel inferior. I may likely, at some point, feel elevated, feel like a queen in the eyes of someone else. Because yes, one man food and another man poison. <laughs> so if you don't make me your food, if I become a poison to you without you letting me know, it makes me feel inferior. And then someone else makes me feel superior. For instance, I. I, I dress well to look good for you. I cook well. I even, I don't have big butts, but I want my butts to be out, to look, sorry to say, to look sexy for you. And I end up registering myself in some exercise routine, dieting, just to look beautiful for you. Because of the trend on social media these days, when you Everybody see girls, saying. when you see Instagram girls, you're like, hey, God. And then you just see guys, but you know your boyfriend, you're in the midst of guys, you say, Bessie, babe. And then they, they are passing one phone around, and then you see the girl. For your mind, your, your swallows, you this girl fan shot. And those things make you feel like, ah, this is what all guys want. And so I, I burn all the money and energy to look good for you. And still, when I come, you're just like, hey, babe, how are you doing? And I like, just do. As you see, I have an appointment to cash, and then you go. And then I, I'm just passing by the road, and someone is like, wow. You've really changed. I see it. You are gathering things. So, before you know, I start, feeling, I start feeling like a queen that doesn't have a palace. And I have a king somewhere. You suppose, who is supposed to give me yes, a palace. palace. You understand? So, that creates an inferiority complex. Not just in the sight of the partner, but also in the sight of other ladies. Because if it is the way my man carries me that I see myself. What he tells me is what I believe. Mm -hmm. So if he tells me, if any girl tells me, ah, you are not up to standard, and then my man tells me, babes, you are killing it, girl. You look sexy. Oh, my God. I can't wait to show you to my friends. If I get to a party where his friends and their girlfriends are, just ah, 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 I will just, you know, feel like ah, yes. nobody reached me for death. So if a woman feels inferior, please, it can make her cheat. Because when she sees somebody else that makes her feel superior, oh, God, pack your face. That's the best thing you get. That's, so that's my case of low self-esteem. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah. That's it's, just exactly. It's, it's a case. Uh, it's see, a case most of low women have affairs for very different reasons from mm -hmm. men, mm -hmm. and I think you made mention of you. You gave us so many reasons. Uh, do you have any other reason apart from the ones you have given us? Yeah, there are so many reasons why people cheat. Like, okay, I'm just trying to. I, I will just try to add up to what she's, uh, she says. She is talking about inferiority complex, but there are people that have low self-esteem. Mm. They, they they, their self-esteem is naturally low. And then they are always craving for somebody that will elevate right. their esteem. So they, they, they have a very high tendency of cheating if they have that issue of low self-esteem. Mm. Because uh, especially when you, are, when you are from different social status, and then, you know, uh, your mind is not telling you you look beautiful or you are doing after, after all the efforts you are making. Your friends are not uh, helping you either. 
you understand? And then here comes someone who is trying to tell you that you look good, you are this, you Probably for the benefit of what he wants to get. Because you have low self-esteem, mm. and then you are waiting for somebody to tell you you are looking beautiful. And the, you know, the, the, the best cure for this nonsense is for women to start appreciating themselves for themselves. Yes. Put your lipstick because you like it. Not because you want some, but you mm. appreciate your lipstick. But I think, think your I think your you if you say a woman should um, wear a lipstick because she wants to, yes, because she likes yes. what she sees uh, in, yes. you know, in the mirror. Yeah, I think it, it should be, no, it no I think you. it should be the other way around mm, because right. you nobody wears uh, makeup without having the intention of other people appreciating. No, 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 please, no. Okay. See, the best thing you can do to yourself. Is to, first of all, fall in love with yourself. You know, all these things, and we, we are talking about inferiority complex and low self esteem. Now, majority of women who fall prey into this uh, extravagant affairs or whatever, are, it's because most of them have low self esteem or inferiority complex. Just taking time to explain this thing. And I'm taking time to tell you that the first thing you can do as a woman is to please, because if you don't appreciate yourself, ah. You are in trouble. You know why? Because if, if every lipstick that goes there, every eyeliner, every eyebrow that goes there is to please a man or is for some for you to say you have done it for somebody to appreciate you, but well, likely you are in trouble. It's better you start appreciating and loving ourselves because if you love yourself, there's this thing. You can set the rules in your life. And even if your husband is not appreciating you, it's not telling you you look good. You look at yourself in the mirror and you feel, wow, I'm nice, I'm dressed well, I'm looking good, I'm kinky, and this and that. You don't need another man. In it's fact, if another bad. man tells you, ah, you look good, I already know. You see, so it will I, not I, be. I, I, have to liken, I have to like him what you're saying. Not, it will not be something that writer, when, writer writes, mm-hmm. when a writer writes, when a writer writes a piece. Okay. And. Um, a writer cannot actually judge his his own, his work, own case, yeah. you know, his own work himself. He cannot say, "I I am a writer," because somebody who writes and puts it uh, in, in his drawer without allowing other people to see it cannot call himself a writer. Mm-hmm. Somebody must say, "You are a writer." Mm-hmm. So I am. You do not understand what I'm I, 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 I'm I, talking I, about I, the low self-esteem of women, mm-hmm. which is always an issue. See, you see a woman. Just by me looking at okay's face, ah, I see she looks nice, and then I'll go out of my way. Maybe in my own way, I look good also. In my own way, maybe if you see her face and say, ah, she looks good, maybe mine is not good. Maybe another person will see mine and choose. No, this world is the is, has a serious diversity. So many interests, so many things. If you love yourself, you understand, you appreciate yourself, and you are not wearing. Your, your 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 lipstick or you are not doing your hair for you to look good only for your husband if not for the fact that you want to look good for your husband you will not raise your you will not go and make your hair or do your lipstick and then the husband comes today you did the hair you did you, if some there are some women that will come to you to their husband remove their uh, the head scarf and do this, this and the man will not even raise and something and then she goes up to tell her friend, oh my, my sister, after everything I've done, look at how I do, I, I stayed two hours in the salon, I did this and this. This man just came and he didn't even notice. You see? You see where the problem is? <laughs> then Mr. Bala uh, notices. The moment she steps into his shop, he notices, ah, my then your face is changed. So. What happened? Ah, okay, you did your hair. Okay, it looks nice. And then because you have low self-esteem, and inferiority complex issues, then you start appreciating Mr. Allah. What? Love yourself. Do your hair for yourself. Can I come All right. Um, can, I, can I come uh, Yeah, no, after the break, please. All right. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. Viewers, we're just starting. I think you should stay close to your television because we still have more to give to you after the break. Please stay tuned.
Welcome back, viewers. In case you're just joining us, this is Gender Spot. We have been discussing reasons why people cheat in relationships. And I have my wonderful gender, gender squad, I will call them. <laughs> uh, Mr. Ambuker. Ambuker. Yes. Ambuker. <laughs> Yeah. Um, this okay, is our squad leader. Yes, he's the squad leader. When we have the squad leader, the presenter. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, in, in the course of my readings, yeah. I came across this this assertion that men actually cheat. You know, it's just a spontaneous thing. It just happens. You know, they don't really plan like women do. There's no reason. Yeah, like it just happened. You know, it's, it's spontaneous. Unlike women who always gather momentums, you know, the so summon you, you all mean the you don't need, don't need any reason? Mm -hmm. Well, I, it's an assumption, so I'm only asking you now to... Well, um, Asan, to be very honest with you, there is no... There's nothing that just pops up like that, mm -hmm. you understand? Yes. Whatever happens, especially in a relationship between two people, is, is a product of reaction and counter-reaction. You understand? A bounce back uh, effect of whatever is happening. There is no man in, in, in yeah, they say naturally men uh, 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 like it a lot. Like it, like too many people. Um, uh, people are nice women, you understand? Right. Like <laughs> uh, but there are men, especially with time now, men that are beginning to understand responsibility. You understand? And the fact that you need, you need to stay within a course. So men have found themselves staying in a course. Although, from the earlier discussion that uh, Ajia and my, my, my sister say are doing, uh, that sometimes you need to appreciate yourself. But naturally, we have the responsibility to appreciate each other. Mostly women dress, or rather dresses, because they want to attract the man's attention. Exactly. You understand? So there is no woman in the world that will wear, wear makeup that is going out that will tell you she doesn't want to be or she doesn't see herself being appreciated. That's why they get uh, slighted when their men don't say, okay, hey, you look beautiful. You no, if, if, they, if he doesn't tell you you look beautiful, why should you make up and go outside and expect another man to no. say you look beautiful? You don't expect, you don't, you don't expect, expect, you don't expect someone to say you look beautiful. But yeah, because, of, because of the anger <laughs> and then the, the, the assertions within your head, the why, why, did, why didn't my husband appreciate me before I come out? All this time that I took on the, uh, on the mirror to appreciate myself, to work myself, to come out, and he didn't even notice. And what, what's up is when he unconsciously appreciates somebody, he say, damn, this mm. girl is fine. Especially when, <laughs> when, like, when, uh, when you're carrying them to the store or something yes, like that, yes. and you see somebody and you tell that lady looks That is an insult. That is it. That is an insult. No, maybe it's sometimes it's, it's, maybe it's, it's always an insult. Whether it's spontaneous. That is whether it's spontaneous. I will spontaneously give you an a smack. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know there are certain things that when they when when it happens, it means it is an abuse of your psychology. There are things that when your partner does, he is consciously or unconsciously, whatever it is, it abuses your psychology. I have been, you know, like if I I don't belong to that that group of women that. To go and sit for 30 minutes to, to dress up my face just for uh, expecting my husband to appreciate me. Now, for those women, I feel for them. For those women who make up because they want their husbands to say they look okay or they want the men in their life to seem fine, I feel for them. If after doing all that, you then you are working side by side with your man and then he sees another. Woman, woman, I say, then <laughs> that is interesting. Yeah, but, that, is but, but really, that is when you will learn. That is the first time I'll teach you to. I will teach you to control your consciousness. <laughs> <laughs> no, because something happened. There was a guy walking with his girlfriend, and then there was this lady with a very big, you know, asset. I think called it figure eight. <laughs> She just passed. You know what he did? He texted his friend and he told his friend, please call me. His friend was behind. He said, call me and pretend like I forgot something. 
The guy just called his phone. Hey, nigga, he said, yes, you called me. What did I forget? Just because he walks up. He said that this is a woman who now has respected so, the woman. So, no, definitely, no, no, there is this unconscious where you yes, just want to... This man, this, this man just want to was appreciate. smart enough to know that he can't open his mouth. To say that. To make that one, he was it conscious. To see, he has to now text his friend to tell him to, you know, at least I love that. You know, on okay, okay. Twitter, he saw something he wants to see, but he realizes that, see, there are certain, certain relationships go that is you're not supposed to be there unless maybe they are a committed relationship like marriage when you have a boyfriend that keeps telling you another lady is beautiful another lady is dressed well another you know and he keeps doing that and you keep trying to change to to look beautiful and then he keeps doing that that relationship is not healthy it's toxic for you because <laughs> it will to ruin you, but, to ruin you, but Adja, ruining your self-esteem, destroying your 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 personality and things like that. But Adja, you know, sometimes women like being pampered, as we always said. Mm. And when when a man keep telling you that there is no one but you, no. you understand, you are the only one. And even if you, you understand, <laughs> and then he begin to go and look for another cockroach, or rather, he just a cockroach passes, and then he wants to look at it. That's you understand. Very serious issue. You know, yeah, you just look at it, and he wants to look at it. Okay. In fact, not even look at it. He wants to explain. <laughs> Don't see this. This couple is it black or white? So, but but I think I think it it boils down to the 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 death of communication between spouses. Because, yeah, spouses. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. because when when you begin as friends and you got married, a lot of people do that. When you begin as friends. You caught it, then you get married. Then the friendship just vanished. Then you just sit as husband and wife. Husband and wife in, 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 in a parlor where the man is listening to his news on radio and you are watching entertainment news on television in the same parlor. You understand? L- let me tell you, my, my, my wife has this attitude of extreme movies. Sometimes you look at films and then try to tell you, okay, this is the kind of camera that was used to shoot this film. And when I watched uh, uh, the, 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 the making, this is what happened, this is what happened. That is my job. You understand? That is what she does. We have a level playing ground of communication. What she loves, I love. And at the end of the day, we, we, we agree no, to work. You understand? Uh, communication. communication. And yeah. I keep telling people that there is a reason why you have a sitting room and a bedroom. bedroom. You understand? Bedroom is where you discuss your, your nasties. You fix your nasties before you get to the sitting room. Whoever is in the sitting room, either your children or your neighbors or your friends or your, your parents, shouldn't know what happened, what happened in, in the bedroom. bedroom. And, 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 and I made it as, 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 as a principle, I told you, my wife, the very first day we, we, we got married, I said, look, the very first day that me and you will be called by a third party to fix a situation, you know our marriage is broken. Seriously. Because if me and you cannot be able to sort things, sort things out in our bedroom, then there's no need for us to be husband and wife. You understand? So it, it, it's, about, it's about the two of you. It's about how you understand each other. When you come back home and there is a change on you, your wife should be able to identify it. Your wife should be able to try to fix, understand it and fix it. It should be applicable to the man. You understand? Too. And the man does also that. Yes. When you come in and you see your wife frowning, you know something is wrong. You know? But she should also understand that you're coming in from somewhere. Perhaps, perhaps or probably you're very tired. She should understand that you should be given room, rest, bed, come back. You understand? Sit down in a talking situation, and then you begin to ask her what was happening, what was wrong. You know. No, I think you that's, 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 um, uh, you but you before you go, please. We have to talk to our viewers. Viewers, I hope you have been taking a cue from the discussion that is going on in the studio. Well, it will continue after this break. Please stay tuned. <laughs> Thank you.
Welcome back. In case you're just joining us, this is Gender Spot, a program that discusses relationship, its issues, challenges, solutions, and of course, the ideologies of people keeping relationships in and outside marriage. We have been discussing why people cheat in relationships, and we are in the studio. We are discussing with wonderful gender uh, squad, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. And um, idea. Mm-hmm. Why you want to speak to me now? Why do you want me to say? Yes, I want you to say because... Well, I say, well, ask your question. Yes, my question is this. You see, there's this issue of um, people cheating in relationship just because they want out of the relationship. Yeah. My concern is this. Do you have to cheat to go out of that relationship? Well, let's say some, yeah, it's one of the reasons because why... It's a big mistake. Yeah, there's one of the reasons why people cheat just to get out of the relationship. They're looking for a permanent reason to severe the relationship. Just a permanent reason. Because they know that the moment the partner knows that uh, especially when you know that there's an affair, uh, then the Especially when you know when you know that if that your partner has been talking and saying and maybe you have already perceived that that your partner will never, never take it if you cheat on them. You just find one reason. One, one reason that once you know, you know that if you do this, they will never get come back to you. And you want out. I mean, you have tried all other means of letting the guy or letting the woman know that it's over. Then, you know, they know some people can be very clean. Yes, so people, you can show all everything. Show this sign, show this one, do this, misbehave. You know, if you are giving her money, refuse to give her money. If you are doing this, if you are taking her to her father's house, refuse to do everything. But she'll find there's still a reason to be there. So you, you have to hurt her yeah. to get out of the relationship. Yes, you have to. Some people do that. Some people cheat just to get out of that relationship. Maybe the relationship is doing hurting them. You know, there are so many ways relationship can hurt you. You understand? And most of the reasons why you see a man cheating with his girlfriend's friend is to just severe that relationship between him and her. As I know someone that went out with the friend of the girlfriend just because he wants he want out and he doesn't want any other thing. So he, 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 he pursued her friend until he succeeded and make sure she knows about it. I think... No. <coughs> okay, go on. No. Okay. That is, he, he was not like there was a reason. To get out. Yes, people, I agree, people cheat to get out. Even some women. Because you know it's very difficult for a man. See, it's easy. It's easier for women but, to accept a man when he cheats. It's difficult for a man. So, some women, because that's a, that's a lifeline of a man, that is the highest love you can give a man. You know, it's very easy for a woman to, to, to forgive a cheating husband. But it's difficult. You agree with me that it's very difficult for a man to accept a woman after she cheats. Now, if a woman understands that her man will never, never take her back, and she wants out of the relationship. And she wants to call it quits forever. That's how to do it. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay so to... I have... Um, there are two uh, other reasons why people cheat. One, distance. Mm-hmm. When a man walks in location A, uh-huh, one walks in Portacos and the other one is walking in Kamu, mm-hmm. you find out that over time, because of the busy, man, no busy busy schedule, <laughs> because of the busy schedule, this one will say, "Ah, I sorry, you. I could not." Probably they do talk every two hours, and before you know, it it turns into text messages. There's no time to call or text you from text. It will just turn to one day one call. Mm-hmm. Sometimes three days one call, and yeah. gradually distance starts coming. You say, "But I'm working for the family. I'm working for the children, especially the men. I'm working for the family. Don't worry, I'll soon be back." One year, two years, 
and stuff like that. Before you know, the woman will say, "I body no be firewood now," and people who even used to get it are friends. You see, so you you mean for all these two years, your husband goes to no thing. Ha! You try you now me. You understand those uh, things? Yes, now. People advise you to do that. Most mo- there are people like that. But not in a marital relationship. They can go for it. In a marital relationship, then your married friend will tell you no. No, no so, so I'm talking about um, an unmarried friend to a married friend. Okay. Even so some married, married, some married women who cheat. That is a can someone, advise, that is a someone can advise a married, married friend to a married friend. Mar- Mar- a married, a married woman, woman who even cheats. Even a married woman who cheats can advise another, another married woman married who does not, cheat, does not cheat, okay. especially in this distance issue. Okay. So if you are if you are working from different locations as a married couple. Look for a way to communicate. No matter how it is, to communicate as much as possible. As in, don't keep anything away. Even if a fly passes ten times, tell yeah. your partner that ah, yeah. you see how many flies that passed my front today. That is to tell you how transparent you can be, and it keeps the other person assured that ah, everything is fine. It's even without sex, everything keeps going as if you are still sexually. Yeah. Um, together. Sometimes, then another. Sometimes okay. women, honestly, sometimes women are more really craving for sex. You yeah, know, that emotional that line, that line, that that boundary, where this is your emotion and this is how you feel emotionally attached to just your husband, and then there's this line that makes you feel appreciated, loved, trusted, wanted, whatever. Mm. That's what women need more than sex. Yes, I don't yes. know about you. Yes, know, but some 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 men men some men don't understand that. They think that it's if just one is looking for them. She, she, she she's wants looking for sex. sex. Yeah, it's not sex. It's that emotional attachment. Yeah, yeah. having to, having feeling like oh, there's someone in your life, not by the side of your life. You know, there are marriages. Hmm? This is the life, and. This one, this life that you have, this husband is inside it. He wants to know what happens to you at work. He wants to know what happens to you in, in your saloon. He wants to know what's going on with your friends. He is trying to be there in your life. Then there is this other marriage that the man is by the side of your life, or you are by the side of his life. Inside the life, his life, his activities, whatever goes on in his life, and his life. Activities, his friends, his work, you are not part of it. You are just there on one side. So, women really, really love that attachment. So, you can be in, 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 in Israel for five years. If you know how to keep that emotional mm. flow going, mm. your mm. wife may not even realize that. She's not there. Well, then, uh, okay. see, uh, I don't think I agree with with this anytime your your wife calls you the man uh presume uh, the wife is in need of sex no no not every time uh, let me, let if me she's explain, looking for that thing. Uh, let me explain it again sometimes there are men that dread home simply because of the sex power of their wives mm, yeah. sometimes when you come home in the night and very tired from wherever you're coming from and you see your wife dressed from the parlor that she's looking at you in through the window, you want to go back because you know that <laughs> the moment you, you enter the house, yes. <laughs> you, <don't know. laughs> yes. you understand? Yes. So, so it's it's it, 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 there are different kind of women. There are those that just crave for your presence. Just sit down, let's talk. Mm. They, there's nothing. She always wants you. Not around, you know, there yeah, are some presence, mm. emotional presence. Yes, you see. Men are present yeah, in, in our lives. Yeah. They are present okay, so in our lives. Yeah, they could be so very physical. Yes, they want you to be emotionally there. Okay. If you are not around within the environment, you can always be with them on the phone. You can always... That's always, more like emotional. Because women are emotional. Right. All right, all right. All right. All right. Yes. We'll come back to you. There was, I know you must be feeling as if you should be part of us in the studio here. But then, you should stay glued to your television. You are going to get more after this break. Stay tuned.
Welcome back, viewers. In case you're just joining us, this is Gender Spot, a program that discusses relationship, its issues, challenges, solutions, and of course, the ideologies of people keeping relationship in and outside marriage. We have been discussing reasons why people cheat in relationship with my gender squad in the studio. Um, the issue of um, communication, like uh, you said, if 10 flies fly, mm -hmm. you have to make your mm -hmm. partner know about it. But I am thinking of this. Do, doesn't there's, you know, I mean, why don't, we, I don't we need, don't we need room, that like a breathing room? You need it. Okay. You need it. There's nothing that is as spicy, as delicious, as intriguing, as nice as the breathing space in any kind of relationship. Once that breathing space is there, honestly, you grow, you appreciate your partner because there is time. There is me alone time. Yeah, a reflection yeah. time. There's a reflection time. There is me and you time. I mean, that reflection time is always dangerous to me. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. See, I have a reason why I said this. A friend actually had this experience. His wife does not give him a breathing space. If he ah, goes out, yes, if, <laughs> he's in trouble. It's if true. he goes out in the morning, she calls him all through his journey to workplace. If he's at work, every top of the hour, she calls him. She knows the time he will spend if he closes at five. Before he gets, she knows within the next 30, 45 minutes. If he's not home. If he's not home, she'll start calling. And in the moment he starts giving her Thank excuse, you. even in fact, she does not really accept the idea of, I am working late. Because she does not believe in that. She just believes that it's just the makeup of man to just, you know, give himself some, some space. So this is, I, this is why I'm asking this. Don't we need... Breathing you know, space? You no, know, you see, you see, there is a breathing space in relationship time. There is a breathing space in communication. It all depends, it all boils down to what level of attachment you want in the relationship and how you define it. You know, every kind, every relationship is different in, 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 in its own way. You cannot see two relationships a couple say this one is Mr. A and B and their their their, their wives or their, their girlfriends, they are not having the same kind of relationship. You know we are different. The way that I think the key, though she should be able to explain you know, is, is is explaining why you should, if ten flies if ten flies fly, you should be able to tell is she's trying to say communicate and make her feel safe. Yes. Safety it's what we then we are looking for when we have our husbands out there or our partners out there. We are just looking for a safe ground. Safe and especially when your partner has told you that the number of girls that are craving, that are calling, let me that give are, you, let me tell you know, you always, want, you always want to, you know, you start needing you know, imagination that you just want to be there you know, for you know, some men that understand those kind of women. I think there was one joke. On, on, on social media, yeah. that the woman or the man always goes out to the blender. The woman would say, "Yeah, you understand." So anywhere the my husband is, where are you? I'm at home. Turn on the blender. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Yes. So the man starts carrying the blender. If he says, "Where is she?" If she's asking. Where are you? Are you home now? They are living in different cities. Are you home now? Yes, turn on the blender. You turn the blender. Let me tell you this. Because women have specialized ways of stalking their men. Men have also yeah. devised you are specialized way of going out of it. I know and I have known someone, you understand, that is a very serious womanizer. Serious one, this one that does not, he cannot sleep without a woman. And I happen to know his wife. And this woman keeps telling herself that, and he travels a lot. So he travels in the morning, as early as 5 a.m. She wakes him up to pray. After prayers, 
she will wait, she will be on phone with him. Till maybe when he's about to take his bath and go to the work. So then at night, she must make sure she calls him at night from 11, she's on phone, till around the time that he fall asleep and starts snoring. But you know what? Let me tell you. It does not stop anything. Women, there are women out there that are ready to be on the chest of your husband, touching their, their faces while he's talking to you. And you're fooling yourself that your husband is... There is no opportunity for another <laughs> woman. You understand? Another yeah. woman will be lying by his side, stroking his tummy and doing whatever while you keep ranting on the phone and keep telling yourself, lying to yourself that. And that same man can bring any woman, sleep with her, and wake up in the morning as early as five when you're calling, be rubbing her back and answering you. Women have shifted. Women that are looking for your men have shifted to that level. They have shifted. It's acceptable. So your man can talk to you anytime. A stalking woman can call her husband ten times and you pick it. That does not mean another woman is okay. So you are just wasting your time. If you think that if by stalking a man or by trying to do this, you are stopping anything. So what should she do? What she should do is mm. live your life. Accept your reality. Don't go thinking that my husband might be cheating on me. So the only way I should be calling him, be on his phone, make sure I am chatting with him. No. I think it has to do with Stay. it has to do with with events of what happened before before he traveled, or what happened with your friend that will influence your attitude towards your husband when he's around or not around. Maybe. There was a time you caught your husband cheating. See, see, he, 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 mm. before you say, he was saying that that wife of, that, that he was talking about, she has a complete schedule of the husband. Yes. From morning mm. till working time, till all these things. Until you understand? He gets back. And you know, you know, you know the question. No, she may not be. You know the question. Excuse me. You know the question. No, 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 no. No, that is no she will know. She no, will she know. Won't. He will know that she's talking him. You know, he will know. Imagine means... she won't know. When you think it's scary. There's a difference between bothering someone and showing care. But you know, this is also reflective from a mother to a child. Sure. Let me see, let me add. But at some thing. point, we uh, while, while a child is growing, mm -hmm. at some point, one, once in parents fail to realize, while they were young, they give them everything. They, uh, you fell down. Oh, sorry, they nurse it, and that child grows. You understand? And then they still keep calling. Are you on your way? When I was coming to Kano, that was how my mother was called me. Naturally, that is that is you know what the man excuse to, me. to to live in with a woman. Excuse that me. is very that important. Is you understand? Me. A woman should be able to put her son through that excuse so that he can be able to be able to live with a woman. Excuse me, about you know what Hassan said. From what he was the way he was he was narrating the story. The way he was narrating the story, the husband was not enjoying the the, 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 the undue attention. And that's why I'm giving you an example. And to allow me that to women reach have a, a point. Women, now, if you think you have a, you have a, a way of stalking your husband, trying to find out where he is, whatever, there are those women outside, they have also devised the means. Yes. So what, 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 you it, it, it's it's a yes, yes, yes. Isn't um, it just an issue of trust between the man and the woman? If you trust... That, that's why I said maybe something happened somewhere sometime something ago. Something must trigger. Yeah, yeah, that triggered that kind of attitude. Yes. You understand? Mm. But if not, mm. if it's just caring, yeah, yeah. your husband leaves your house in the morning and you call him from when he leaves the, the, the parlor to his car. You begin to call him until he gets a job, he gets to work. From workplace, you call him on countable times and he gets back home. He gets tired of it. You understand? But he is yeah, accommodating it because he knows he's guilty of something. Mm -hmm. You understand? That happens yeah, somewhere. Yeah. Yes. You understand? Yes. And he also yes. wants to avoid that. Okay. That's why something like what Hadja is saying can also come up. A man can be in a room uh, stroking a girl and then talking with his wife. You, you understand? Okay. Or she look, she's looking for safety and she's getting the safety from the phone and she's also getting whatever he wants to yes. get. Right. Whatever. I'll come back to you. There was, <laughs> it's really getting interesting in the studio. I hope you are not going to go away when we go on break.
please stay tuned to your TV set. Welcome back viewers. In case you're just joining us, this is Gender Spot, a program that discusses relationship, its issues, challenges, solutions, and of course, the ideologies of people keeping relationship in and outside marriage. We have been discussing reasons why people cheat in relationship. Yes. Okay? Okay. Another reason why people cheat in relationship is sexual satisfaction. Lack if... of it or too much of it? Ah. Some lack of it to some too much of it. So in, in any way, a, a, whichever the case may be, sexual satisfaction plays a very major role in marital relationships and even non-marital relationships. So if you are not sexually satisfying your partner, ah, it's alarm, you know, because you really need to work it out. If uh, And that is where openness comes in. If you are not satisfied, because most women they feel that they feel like um, it's a shameful thing when they tell their partner that they need more. They need more. <laughs> they start seeing you like ah, you be machine. No, it's as in that is what the relationship is about. You should talk about everything. If you are not satisfied as a woman, tell him because some ladies let me not just go there, but they just don't feel okay with the man. With what the man has, and the moment a woman sleeps with another man or goes out with another man sexually and finds out that she's she likes this more than this, there is a problem in the home, probably before they go married because they feel that it's 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 safer or it's uh, there is a an escape route when you cheat when you are not married compared to they feel the gravity is more <coughs> when you are married. Uh, you are you, you are married and you are cheating on your husband, but if you are dating and then you have three boyfriends, they don't see it as a it's more like a big crime. It starts from there. Come, and it starts from there it because from there. When, when, display, when you when you when you when you, when you make out with somebody who satisfies you sexually, and then some other areas are lacking, and you feel that this one that you want to marry is uh, like you pray, oh God, choose for me. And you keep seeing this person in your dream, and you marry the person, and you discover that your sexual drive yes, you are sexually is different, mm. very different from the, that of the, your other your partner. You start reflecting back to the satisfaction you used to get from Mr. John, and anytime you see Mr. John, you just remember the times you spent. It brings back those memories, and before you know, the urge to cheat starts coming in because by the time you are done maybe you won't go so many rounds in a day with your husband and you are not still still not okay probably you just go one with that mr john and you're like ah this is it it could also apply to the man so sexual satisfaction also makes people cheat too right. so uh, much of mr. it okay. well um there is no there is no hiding the fact that when you live with a, with a woman or a, or a man that does not give you what you actually deserve sexually. There will be <clears throat> there will be there will be crave for distance, you know, and uh, you you will have the urge to to go on searching for who can give you exactly what, what you need. Because we as as individuals have capacities. You understand? When 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 one is not compatible with the other, the capacity cannot can cannot align. And the, the, there's obviously a problem, you know. I, unfortunately, as I said earlier, we, we have the kind of tradition that gives us, or that doesn't allow us to have a, a, a living situation before marriage. You have to come to the house of the girl. You sit at one corner and she sits at another corner. You talk. At the end of the day, after one, two, three months, there's an agreement to marry. And during the odds for the marriage, uh, like I, I, I know it's done in the Islamic way. People ask, okay, is your son really, really healthy? You say yes. She, is your daughter healthy? You say yes. None of these people have ever sat down to have any sexual relationship with 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 with, with the with other. other. They have not taken the son to a particular place to have a, a sexual relationship and then see his strength. 
But then here, you ask the question and they say, yes, he's healthy. And they get into, uh, in, in, into marriage situation. And then they come to realize that, ah, oh, this guy is not as healthy as I expected. Mm. You understand? Expectation is always about expectation. The way you see him. But some people don't even have a relationship. That's, that's a problem with, 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 with a part of the world. We, some, some, some people might be in, 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 in another city. Mm. Find, finding for, 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 for their parents. Before they get back home, the parents would, would find someone for them. And so, okay, now you can go into that room, there's a woman inside, that's your wife. And you begin to cultivate relationship from that point. Mm. And you begin to, to ask, okay, how do you even ask her, I want to have sex with you? <laughs> <laughs> she sees your wife, you don't even know her. Uh, you understand? Okay. And you sit down and, and you want to start testing each other first. And at a point you realize, okay, look, this guy is not just me. Or this lady is not just me. What do I do? And maybe he had a relationship in, in, within the environment before yes, they get married yes. to, uh, mm. for him. Mm. So he began to go back there. They began yeah. to look out for closure somewhere. You understand? Okay. So that's, that's, um, that's, that's let's, clear. Just one minute, Aja, let's hear from you. I think um, this thing has been discussed and we are looking at the natural way that God has made man and woman. I, I don't think, I don't think that sexual incompatibility is something that can be checked because that's the reason why in my religion men are allowed to marry up to four in fact it says marry two three four because of these disparities they are you you could you could like this woman for her soft sweet nature caring attitude but she may not be very compatible with you in that then you might there's this one that is very aggressive, very unkind, but she is very compatible. You know? So men are allowed that opportunity to go in between and, and find satisfaction. But you're you looking understand? at it from the point of view of now, men. Right. What now, happened to a woman, women? Now, for a woman, for a woman, you understand, we have this nature of understanding, of, of accepting, yes. and... You know, of you know, I I always say I don't know. People say that women are great, they are not so very close to God and everything, things like that. But I feel we have one, we have more reasons to stay married, to stay within our relationships than just sex. Sexual incompatibility or lack of sex should not be an excuse because we have better things. We have the home, we have the children, we have us, we have so many things. Going for us because of sex. I don't think I don't see myself going out for that. I don't. But it's a very important and vital part of the relationship. Yes, but well, for it's the something sake, you can do with us. For the sake of the fact that we're we are, we are, we are talking here on this table yeah. on television, mm. perhaps we can say some don't, but it is an essential part of. Relationship. Very yes, essential. Yes, yes. What I'm so, saying is that when when you say you think for yourself. Sometimes mm-hmm. when the husband is not this, you should be able to do this. Mm-hmm. When your husband is stabbing you sexually, sexually, or when you realize that he is not what he used to be, is you know all there is that a problem. Takes in a marriage? No, it is not. But it's, it's a chunk. No, there is, it is it's not. You don't have to. You don't have to. And starve yeah. yourself and subject yourself to. Well, I am already in this mess. Don't and you? Know, I know. I understand that. No, 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 no. You can't. No. You can't. So you what can't, do you do? No, civilized people you can't will, will sit down and talk and say, "Look, yes. exactly. I don't, I, I, walk I don't it out. Yeah, there is a lady. Yeah, there is a lady. There is a lady. All those therapies. There is a lady that got married. You just say, "I'm, I'm leaving." So there is a lady that got married. To the, the, husband, the, the husband has never... I have children, I have my husband, I have my home, I have everything. Simply because I have this... Hadja. Idea that of, is the situation that can make you to cheat. This is if your husband, In fact, if your husband is important mm. in the first place, if he has been important, you will then not be... You will not be in the marriage. If, you're, if, you're, you not if your husband is important, no. I'm, I'm saying maybe, for example, you, have, you already have... Social change mm-hmm. in marriage. Yeah. You already have a husband, and then... Or for maybe out of that the is or something, mm-hmm. excuse me, then the sex drops and then it's not even available anymore. You are being sex out. What I'm saying is that if your husband has reached that level where he cannot have sex with you or he cannot, there's always work to out. 
either you are out or you you become self-induced important woman too you can induce importance in yourself because that's the only way to go yeah. Oh, that is the yeah. case. No, oh, but if no, there but we are saying that it, it, there, are, there are probable reasons. Why, yeah, th- these are likely reasons why some women or men cheat. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. When they are sexually served, they, like yeah. there's a lady she got married. When she got married, the husband does not even know go come about sex or anything. Yeah. And she was like, she was shy well, she, to she tell us everything. because she's <laughs> older. You understand? She's mm-hmm. older. But then there was one day. She was now advising us after things at level. She said, when I got married, because we went to the wedding. She said, when I got married, my husband, Papa yes, boss, he does not know how to do anything. So what did she do? She went to her pastor's wife and told, said, Ma, I cannot close my mouth because I am not happy. Mm. My husband cannot do anything. So it was the essence of us being together, you understand? So it, I don't want to cheat on my husband. So what do I do? So they told her, I said, okay, get um, some of all these um, movies and that okay. deal with stuff like that. So that way it will make him learn and it will boost his spot. So gradually, gradually, she helped him, she helped him to build it up. Mm-hmm. So if you are the type that's going through that, mm-hmm. you could help your partner. That's why he said well, communication. What is that? Okay, okay, what okay, okay, is okay, 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 yes, yes, communication? What if, it's still part yeah, of communication. What yes. if he is already he's, he's up and doing and you are enjoying your sexual relationship? That's then all of a sudden. Something happens. That is where you now stick to your vow. That is where you now stick to your vow. That is what I'm saying. Sickness and in health. You get it. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, that is when you will get married to Jesus. Then <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you induce, because if you don't want to cheat, mm. if you don't want to cheat, then it's, it's, it's maybe you, you are My advice to, to such divorce. women If you don't want to cheat, you take the man as yourself. You, you take the man as yourself in, in because if you place yourself, yourself. in, in relationship, if you place yourself in the shoes of your partner and your partner plays, places himself or herself in your shoes, I don't think the both of you will have problem. You discover so, that it, it is important okay. to ask. Let's yourself. go back to what I just said earlier. Uh, the other editions. Okay. All right. We talked about something like testosterone or something like that, mm-hmm. and we talked about it in women also. Mm-hmm. And your husband suddenly he's grows important. grows dark, yeah. and he's he's a wall. He, he, he does not perform, mm-hmm. and you sit down, and and you get you get all all clean up, mm-hmm. and and someone sees you and appreciated you, and you've not had sex for, with your husband for years, mm-hmm. and that guy appreciated you, and you you remembered those those days, and mm-hmm. because of this this simple simple mm-hmm. appreciation, you understand it can trigger something in you because mm-hmm. of the, the the length of time that you your yes. testosterone yes. Yeah. Is, what, is yeah. activated it can uh, get to a level that you can attack somebody especially you understand? especially when you are, especially <laughs> when you don't have anything to do with your life when you don't have you don't have yes you're not busy this is why you know, I, was, I was actually going to that yes place. when if a woman, woman doesn't busy. have if see you know yeah. what yeah. an ideal woman go is a devil's factor good not option an ideal woman is a devil's factor. When there's a, an ideal woman and her husband is not giving her sex and for a long time and she's idle. Uh, that would be I the think even the, busy, even the busy even the busy woman. Even the busy woman. Yeah. The busy, busy woman will always but, go but, out. But an ideal woman is always out. If you're busy and you will take your mind always, off that. Yes. No, I know of a guy that's that you are looking at just a woman. You understand? Uh, a busy woman sees people depending on the kind of job she's doing. You understand? She sees men on a daily basis because she goes out of the house, comes back in the evening. You understand? She sees people, even if it's a market woman, she sees men. You understand? And because of the length of time she, she, she stayed away from sex, though know, their husband has been important, can, 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 can just trigger anything. Yes, no, no. Really busy. Busy. there are, there are images. There are Being things busy that does not mean you have to be seeing men every day. Let me tell you, you can be busy. Even at you home. can be busy at home grinding uh, uh, granite. Yeah. Wait, grinding granite from six o'clock and then making six yourself six 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 counting your money and sending it to the bank. But you know there are there are ways you should exchange certain things in your life that are important for some things. You have to, excuse me. I see, think. you have to understand. Sometimes, when you go to the bank, when you go to the bank, you pass a man. Just hold his on, perfume, hold on. just his perfume, Abaka. can trigger just about anything. Yes, but then, hold, you see, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, let me, let me land, oh. let me land. If to say, for example, 
you are a strong man with your legs, with your arms, with your eyes, with, that, with everything. And then suddenly there was an accident in your life. There happens to be an accident and then you lose your legs. Let's say you are permanently strapped to your wheelchair. Hmm? Mm. Will you now be thinking of your legs when you see people with legs, you say, oh, ah, okay, that time when I had legs and everything. You accept your feet. See, if you take a bath, that this is for better or for worse. I'm going to be with this man to, for whatever happens. Let me tell you, woman, impotency can happen. Incompatibility can happen. Everything can happen. So you better learn to, 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 to exchange something with that sexual part of your life. That's the only way you can keep safe. You can, you can stay with God and be in control of yourself. All right, and um, not allow uh, another we'll, man to we'll continue, we'll continue this you issue we will because, because, because we'll, I, I don't we'll, agree with what I just said. I know. We'll yeah. come back if you don't agree, yeah, I will yeah. come back to you. There was, you wouldn't want to miss out on what we are discussing here. So I suggest you stay glued to your television. We'll be right back.